Welcome to today's class. Uh, I hope that you are all preparing well for your JE mains examinations. So today also I am going to explain our very very important uh, models. So which are very very important for your next JE mains examinations which is going to commence in April. Okay now right. So those who are preparing seriously for the examinations. So see this uh, problem. See the problem here. Consider a real valued function. Real valued function. Real valued function means what? Whose range is whose range is set of subset of set of real numbers. Okay now, right? Put it like that. And it is one relation is given thus two times f of x y is equal to f of x whole to the power of y plus f of y whole to the power of x for all x comma y belongs to R. And uh, f of 1 is equal to a and a where a not equal to 1. Then prove that a minus 1 into sigma i runs from 1 to n f of i is equal to a to the power of n plus 1 minus 1. So this is the problem is given. So just by seeing the students uh, what is this total data they will you will get a get confusion and just simply omit the they will leave the problem. Okay. So no need to leave the problem. So first what we have to prove this we have to prove what is that solution sigma f i i will take uh, to that side i runs from 1 to n this is a power n plus 1 a power n plus 1 minus a by a minus 1 this you have to prove a power n plus 1 minus a by a minus 1 is it in any formula sum to infinite progression sum to geometry progression s n is equal to geometry progression s n is equal to a into r to the power of n minus 1 by r minus 1 type any type of this uh, if you uh, okay it is uh, just like if it is r is also a if it is r is also a r is also a s n is equal to a into a power 1 I, I will write it like this uh, right a power n minus 1 by a minus 1 that is a power n plus 1 minus a by a minus 1 it is something like uh, geometric progression sum to n terms of a geometric progression where common ratio is a a power n plus 1 minus a by a minus 1 this is just like a geometric progression type you are getting an idea right i runs from 1 to n that means f of x f of x that means i run so here means what this is a geometric progression sum to geometric progression so this is a geometric progression with the common ratio a sum to n terms of geometric uh, progression sum to n terms of uh, geometric progression when common ratio is equal to that formula so this is equal to what so f of 1 plus f of 2 plus f of 3 so on f of n is equal to a power n plus 1 minus a by a minus 1 now now what is f of 1 f of 2 f of 3 means you have to find out f of x what is f of x so if you find out f of x the problem will be over that we will write f of 1 f of 2 f of 3 we will substitute here automatically we will get the tight side so this is the analysis of the problem now let us start our real problem so what is our real problem to find f of x see the uh, what is the hints given so the first hint is f of x is a real valued function one second one there is a relation is given here two times f of x y is equal to f of x whole to the power of y plus f of y whole to the power of x that is the first relation and the second information is this f of 1 is equal to a okay now so using that let us find out f of x value okay now so now in this equation how to get f of x how to get f of x how to get f of x put y is equal to 1 so f of x into y is there so let's why put x is equal to 1 put x is equal to 1 see here what happens 2 into f of x 2 into f of x is equal to this is x is so f of x x is same as it is f of x whole to the power of 1 plus f of 1 whole to the power of x wherever sorry y is equal to 1 y is equal to 1 so we have to avoid y we have to get x f of x 
So this is equal to 2 times f of x is equal to, so this is f of x plus f of 1 is equal to given as a, f of 1 is given as a. Bring this f of x to right hand side, so this is equal to f of x is equal to a power x. So our function is f of x is equal to a power x. That means instead of giving f of x is equal to a power x, if it is given directly f of x is equal to a power x, then nothing is there that cannot be an a j e means problem. So instead of giving f of x is equal to a power x, so they are given, so this is 2 times x comma y is equal to f of x whole power y plus f of y whole power x, so f of 1 is equal to a. So the whole meaning is f of x is equal to a power x. Now find out f of 1, f of 2, f of 3 and you substitute, let us see whether we will get a power n plus 1 minus a by a minus 1. Okay, na? So, let us continue the calculation. Welcome back to the remaining calculation. So, we got f of x is equal to a power x. Using this information and this information, we got f of x is equal to a power x. Now, so this means sigma i runs from 1 to n f of i. f of i means f of 1 plus f of 2 plus f of 3 so on f of n so this is a f of 1 a power 1 a plus f of 2 a square this is a a q plus so on a plus n a power n so clearly this is a geometric progression with the common ratio or first term a so therefore sn formula a into a into r to the power of that means a power n plus 1 minus uh, 1 by a to the power of sn formula sum to geometry sn is equal to a into r to the power of n minus 1 by r minus 1 okay now since r is greater than 1 where r a greater than not equal to 1 means that means here r value is a that's why not equal to 1 so by r minus 1 that means a minus 1 so let us uh, take a minus 1 to cross multiplication. Let us take cross multiplication. So this is equal to a minus 1 into sigma i runs from n to n f of i is equal to a power n plus 1 minus a. a power n plus a multiply inside minus a. So this is the result we got. Okay. So by seeing this problem immediately students will uh, get uh, uh, they get tension. So by seeing this f of x whole power y f of y whole power x. Okay. So no need to do that. So, just uh, think in a logical way what we have to prove, what we have to prove, then easily we will get the solution. Okay, now? So, I hope that you understand this solution. Let us move to next problem. Hi students, welcome to this problem. So, here it is uh, evaluate integral of root of 1 plus x square upon x square minus x power 4 dx. Okay, now? So, let us see this uh, solution. So, integral root of 1 plus x square by. Here, what can we take common outside x square minus x power 4? We can take x square. This is 1 minus x square. Okay, now, right. Now, next what we will do? So, let us avoid this uh, uh, square root. So, for that, multiply with the uh, numerator and denominator with the uh, 1 plus x square multiply the numerator and denominator with the 1 plus x square. 1 plus x square into 1 plus x square, 1 plus x square whole square. So, that is equal to 1 plus x square by under square root of. This is a x square into, so this is equal to how much? 1 minus x to the power of 4. a plus b into a minus b, a square minus b square. Okay, now dx. Okay, let us separate this uh, uh, denominator for both the terms in the numerator. So, this is equal to integral 1 by, so this x will come root of 1 minus x power 4 dx plus integral x square by x into under square root of 1 minus x power 4 dx. Okay, we separated root of x square is x. Actual root of x square is called mod x. No need of writing mod x here. Why? Because there are no upper limits, lower limits here. Now, see here, x, x will get cancelled, okay. Now, the problem will become two terms. It become a two, ter a two problems will become. So, let us do these two problems simultaneously, okay. 
So here how to proceed this type of problem. So here 1 minus x to the power of 4 is there. What is the integral of 1 minus x to the power of 4? This is minus 4x cube. So in the numerator x cube term is not there. That's why minus 4x cube term is not there. That's why multiply the numerator and denominator with the x cube. So this is first you do that. So this is a x cube by so this is a x power 4 into root of 1 minus x power 4 dx. Okay now. So I have multiplied with the x cube on the numerator denominator plus integral of this one x will get cancelled root of 1 minus x power 4 dx. Understand this 1 minus x power 4 dx. So then how to proceed? So let us see here. Now let us see here. Now coming to the this calculation. So we will call it as a for our convenience sake i1 and we call it as i2. Okay now. So that the problem will become very easy. Now i1 is equal to. So let us this in, integral is a x cube by x power 4 into root of 1 minus x power 4 dx. Okay now. Right. Let us take 1 minus x power 4 as some t square. 1 minus x power 4 is equal to t square. So this is equal to minus 4x cube dx is equal to 2t dt. 2t dt. So this is equal to x cube dx is equal to. So this is a minus 1 by 2 dt. So 2 1s are 2 2s are cancelled. Minus 1 by 2t dt. Okay. So now let us substitute all these values in the given integral. This is i1 is equal to root of integral x cube dx is equal to how much? Minus 1 by 2 t by dt t by x power 4 means how much? x power 4 means how much? 1 minus t square. So this is a 1 minus t square into 1 minus x power 4 is equal to how much? t square root of t square t. This is a t. Understand this? This is a tree. So, x power 4 is equal to 1 minus t square. So, whereas a root of 1 minus x power 4 means what? t square. Root of t square t. So, t t will get cancelled. So, this is equal to minus 1 by 2. Integral of 1 minus t square dt. Okay now. Let us uh, calculate that value. Okay. So, let us put it like this. Uh, otherwise, uh, 1 by 2 into 1 by t square minus 1 dt. So, this is of the form 1 by x square minus a square 1 by 2a into log of x minus a by x plus a. That formula we will apply here. Okay, now let us continue the solution. Welcome back to the remaining calculation. So, this is equal to 1 by 2 into 1 by t square minus 1 square dt. This is equal to 1 by 2 into 1 by 2a into log of t minus 1 by t plus 1 u minus a by x minus a by x plus 1. So, this is equal to 1 by 4 into log of what is t here? So, the t is 1 minus x to the power of 4 is equal to t square we have taken. Now, what is t? So, this is equal to root of 1 minus x power 4 minus 1 by root of 1 minus x power 4 plus 1. So, this value we got. First integral value is over. Now, coming to second, how to do this here? So, here i2 is equal to integral of x by root of 1 minus x power 4. Can I take, take x square whole square? x square whole square? Yes, we can take. So, therefore, put x square is equal to some u. So, 2x dx is equal to du. x dx is equal to 1 by 2 du. Okay, now. Now let us substitute this. So here is equal to 1 by 2 integral of 1 by root of 1 minus u square du. This is 1 by 2 into sin inverse of u. 1 by root of 1 minus x square integral is sin inverse of x. So this is equal to 1 by 2 into sin inverse of u. u means x square. So now our final answer is our final answer is i is equal to i1 plus i2. So i1 means how much? This is a 1 by 4 log of root of 1 minus x power 4 minus 1. So, this value that is 1 by 4 log of 
root of 1 minus x power 4 minus 1 by root of 1 minus x power 4 plus 1 plus 1 by 2 into sin inverse of x square plus c of course plus c constant of integration. So, such a type of uh, the answer for this problem is this. This type of problems may be asked in your JE mains examination. Okay? So, I hope that you understand this solution. Let us move to next problem. Hi students, welcome to this problem. So, here 1, z1, z2, z3, so on, z at minus 1 are the nth roots of unity. Then the value of 1 minus z1, 1 minus z2, 1 minus z n minus 1 is equal to how much? See here, first of all, nth roots of unity. So, that means what? nth root of unity, some x we get. x we get. That means 1 to the power of 1 by n is equal to x. This x value is given as, so these are the values. That means, sir. Uh, it will have n roots of unity. They are 1, z1, z2, z3, so on, z n minus 1. So, those are the nth roots of unity. So, that means what have nth roots of unity. So, that means, so if we hear nth root of n is equal to some, let us call it as a z, we call it as a z, no problem, since they are given in z. So, this is equal to z power n minus 1 is equal to z power n minus 1 is equal to what we will get. So, therefore, 1 is equal to z power n. z power n minus 1 is equal to what are the roots? So, the roots are z minus 1, z minus z1, z minus z2, z minus z3, so on, z minus z n minus 1. So, do not get confused here. See here, for example, so, what are the, for example, uh, if alpha and beta are the roots of a quadratic equation, then what is the quadratic equation x minus alpha x minus beta is equal to 0, you are writing or not? Like that, here also they are the roots, they are the roots, but they are in z's. So, here x minus alpha x minus beta, how you are writing like that? x minus 1 x minus x minus alpha x minus beta x minus gamma x minus delta. These are all the roots. They are nothing but z power n minus 1. So, bring this z minus 1 this side. So, this is equal to z power n minus 1 by z minus 1 is equal to z minus z1, z minus z2, z minus z3, so on, z minus z n minus 1. Okay, now. So, what is the z power n minus 1 expansion? Let it be n. So, definitely first term will be z minus 1 into, so this is a z power n minus 1 plus z power n minus 2 plus so on, last term you will get 1 by z minus 1, this is equal to z minus z minus 1, z minus z2, so on, z minus z n minus 1, ok now. So, this term will be cancelled, z minus 1, z minus 1 will be cancelled. So, how you will get this means? So, one more formula is there. See here, a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square. Understand? So, here a minus 1, here a power will be decreased, a square, a it goes on decreasing. That means here also z powers, that means z power n minus 1, again 1 will decrease z power n minus 2 will go on. The last term will be b square. That means here 1 square 1. Now, let us see our problem here. See here what we have to find out 1 minus z1, 1 minus z2, 1 minus z n minus 1. Here also 1 minus z1, 1 minus z2, 1 minus z n minus means what? So, put, put z is equal to 1. z is equal to 1. So, substitute here. 1 is equal to 1 power 1, how much here? 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus so on plus 1. This is 1 minus z1, 1 minus z2, 1 minus z3, so on, 1 minus z, n minus 1. So, this type of 1s are, how many 1s are there? n 1s are there, n 1s are there, therefore n. So, for our, your answer is, our answer is equal to how much? n. Understand this? Our answer is equal to 1. So, here also you may get dot. Sir, here how can you say 1 n sir? Here 3 is you now. Here 3 terms will come. A square plus AB plus B square. 3 terms will come. So, here also 
whole power n means here how many terms will be there n terms will be there that's why how many ones will get n ones will get so n into 1 n understand that so i hope that you understand this solution let us move to next problem hi students welcome to this problem so by seeing this problem so everybody will get uh, confusion so what is this x power 9 minus 3 x power 5 plus 7 x cube minus x what is there okay now so very easy problem this is so let us do consider the function that function so we will do like this uh, we will uh, separate the function like this so let us take that function f of x is equal to x power 9 minus 3 x power 5 7 x cube minus x plus 1 whole divided by cos square x okay now let us divide this cos square x to up to minus x plus 1 separately so this will become secant square x so that means so if we are by cos square x need to come numerator x power 9 minus 3 x power 5 plus 7 x cube minus x plus 1 by cos square x secant square x okay now right observe this this function and this function this is clearly a odd function this is an even function how can you say that odd functions are so in place of x substitute minus x secant square x is equal to secant square x so this is x power 9 minus will come here minus will come here minus will come here minus is also come here so all together so this is a minus x power 9 Plus 3x to the power of 5 minus 7x cube plus x. So total this is minus secant square x x power 9 minus 3x to the power of 5 plus 7x cube minus x minus f of x. So this is a even function. Clearly it is an odd function. Even though if you substitute minus x, you will get plus x. So from this observe the limits minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4. So we have the formula. This is a minus a to a f of x dx is equal to simply zero if f is odd function. Two times zero to a f of x dx f is even function. Okay now, so from this what can you say? So if integral, so up to here you will get zero. This that is an odd function. Now our problem is our problem is integral. Minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4 become two times 0 to a. So that means two times 0 to pi by 4. That is secant square x dx. Why? Because secant square x is an even function. So this is clearly two times tan x upper limit, lower limit. Two times uh, secant square x integral is tan x. So this is a two times tan pi by 4 is minus tan 0 is equal to 1. 2. 2 is the final answer. Understand this? So this is a very easy problem. So see, they created like that. So odd function and an even function like that we created. Okay now. So this is a problem exclusively on odd function. So this is called creative thinking. So so you have to develop this type of thinking. Okay now. So how can you get this type of thoughts and how you will get sir this uh, uh, by separating like this? This is a even function, odd function like that means if you solve number of problems. if you solve this type of number of problems if you watch this type of videos definitely automatically you will get that idea okay now so i hope that you enjoy today's class with uh, some more problems so tomorrow's class we will stand before you so until then all the best